This is where crowdsourcing for feedback is super, super important because you can actually ask real customers that spend their real money buying on these platforms what they're gonna what they're looking for and why they care about branding even so that's really yeah. interesting i mean i think uh, you bring up a, a great use case that is one of my favorite ones is uh you don't always have to compare things on our platform you can just put up an open-ended question um and maybe maybe you just put a an image of your product right and so you can ask exactly what you asked your 12 year old how would you describe this how would you search for this product uh, first of all you're going to surface a couple things People may not know what your product is from from looking at it, which which we've seen before. And another fun test is, do you even know what this is? Like, <laughs> and uh, you'll be surprised that like some of your some people's packaging just really missed the mark. But uh, asking people to describe a product in their own words is is great fodder for, like you said, embedding onto the page so that it, uh, different ways of describing your product get uh, indexed by the search engines. And um, you know, all search engines love like organic customer voice. And so the more you can get or get that on there, like, you know, people describe this or people like you, you know, um, want these weird preppy stuff things or whatever it is, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's going to be really helpful because you're speaking their language. Yeah, and that's really, really important. What I've noticed as an Amazon seller for so many years, yes, there's AI and yes, there's bots and yes, there's things that can write your listings for you. And that's all fine and dandy to give you a head start. But at the end of the day, if we are not speaking in the same dialect yes. of our customers, then they're never going to find our products even with bots you know it's like yep. you have to be able to at some point insert your human um perspective on this and if your customers are 12 year old girls and they're typing cute preppy stuff into amazon you better have that in your listing <laughs> so yeah. i think it's really important to use the both and there you're getting human feedback from real people examining your text or your picture or your product or your branding or everything else and then they're saying from a human perspective mm -hmm. this is how i would buy this or not buy this i wouldn't buy it because it's orange or i wouldn't buy it because who would buy that for 20 bucks or you know you're, you misspelled something on your packaging even you know how many people don't oh double gosh. check those things it's so crazy <laughs> yeah for sure yeah and and something we've been stressing with all this ai is that people are still the ones buying your products and until the point that ai is buying the products for you which you know may come in the future like you need to make sure that whatever you're generating does resonate with your target audience. So even if you're using an, an assist with AI generation on your copy mm -hmm. or your images, you still should get human feedback on it. Absolutely. And I think that's the most important part there because yes, we can cut a lot of corners with um, AI and that's mm -hmm. a brilliant technology and we all are hopefully embracing it and moving yeah. forward with it because it's not going away. But there's still like that human element again of saying the bots can't decide I would purchase this or this based yeah. on the colors of the branding. And honestly, I've seen people even do side by side, like the one side by side I saw was like a red and white and then like a black and white. And so many people put, picked the red and white and I was actually shocked. I was like, yeah. oh, I thought the, the black looked a lot more like elegant and classy. And they're like, no, this just looks more fun and more like urgent. Like I have to mm. buy the one with the red. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. 